from NBC News. This is Today with Katie Couric and Matt Lauer. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Coming up in this half hour, trying to strike the right chord in the musical world, women are making their way to center stage in what has long been a male-dominated profession, orchestra conductor. We're going to meet some of these women maestros, and actually one in particular who's a real dynamo in just a few minutes. Yeah. Next, a woman conducting some serious business. That's right after this. For some time, women have been breaking the glass ceiling in business, politics, and boardrooms all across the country. Now meet one woman who's conducting herself in a very professional way and making beautiful music in the process. It is a position of power long held only by men. But now women are making their way to center stage. Women like award-winning conductor Joanne Folletta, music director of the Buffalo Symphony, Jerry Lynn Johnson, assistant music director at the Chamber Orchestra of Philadelphia, and Marin Alsa, the music director of the Colorado Symphony since 1993. Kept offstage by what many call a glass baton, Alsop and others are breaking into the very traditionally male world of classical conducting. A lot of it is historical. A lot of it is about our perception of women as the final authority. I mean, why hasn't there been a woman president of the United States? I, I mean, it's not that women are not qualified. We know that. It's all about perception. That tradition has continued to today and people are still, I think, um, a little bit uncomfortable with the idea of being bossed around by a woman. And make no mistake about it, in an orchestra, the conductor is the boss. Is it innate? I mean, are there some people who are just naturally talented, like athletes? Or is it something that can be learned? Or is it a combination of I both? I think that's a, it's a great question. I think, I think it is definitely a combination of both. There's a body language and a way that people respond physically to each other that I think is innate. But a lot of it is learned, and a lot of it is through experience, because as I said, you, you can't practice. The daughter of a cellist and a violinist, Marin Alsop says she was preordained to be a musician. At two, she was playing the piano. By five, she had mastered the violin. And at the ripe old age of seven, she was playing in an orchestra. Then, when she was just nine, she experienced legendary conductor Leonard Bernstein. We sat very close, you know, he was bigger than life and he turned around and talked to the audience. I, I felt as though he was talking right to me and it was so exciting and I turned to my father and I said, that's what I'm gonna do. And so, with her mentor's support, a lot of hard work and patience, she did just that. Marin graduated from Yale and the Juilliard School, was awarded a fellowship to Tanglewood's prestigious conducting program, and became a guest conductor of orchestras at home and abroad. Recently, she was named music director of the Bournemouth Symphony, the first woman in history to head a British orchestra. Female conductors know that to succeed, they have to be better than their male counterparts. She's leading the best orchestras in the world. She has a lot of respect. She has an interesting mix of um, substance and style. And she lets you know that this is not just um, a routine, generic reading of a piece. There's a connection with the musicians. And they're so astute and they're so experienced that they are watching you all the time. As the conductor, it's my ultimate responsibility to be true to the composer. I'm the messenger of the composer. It's not about me. It's about what the composer wrote and that has to reign no matter what. How does one go about learning to be a conductor? I mean, right. a lot of people probably don't know and, and with all due respect, it looks kind of easy. <laughs> Well, you're going to find out. <laughs> we went to the Society for Ethical Culture in New York City, where members of the Juilliard Orchestra were poised to play. Marin passed me a baton her father made her, and I gave it a whirl. It's nice, isn't it? Now, do you ever use two batons, or is that really weird? Okay, what are you laughing at? <laughs> you're like, oh, my God. Actually, that's not a good conducting technique. Like in Fantasia? <laughs> I see the conductor doing a lot of this, don't you? You don't get out much, do you? No, no. I don't. Oh, you're right, I don't. I'm going to be a really difficult no, people, but let's you're gonna try You're going to be wonderful. It. So we're going to start with Mozart, uh -huh. Eine kleine Nacht music. All ah. right? And you know the... Oh, of course. Uh, of but course, of course. Yeah. So the, the, 
first thing about conducting this is quite simple. It's just in four. And four is one, two, three, four. How do you get them all set and ready to go? You just look at them like, yes, look like at them. Look how wonderful they are. They're like, <laughs> okay, we can't wait. They can't wait. Three, four. And then violence. Okay. <laughs> that sounded so great. I don't want you to stop. No, no, but, it's good. Okay, but here we go. One, two. Three. Wait, wait, stop! <laughs> See, that's the danger they, they always play. Remember, so, so three. One, no, two, one is down. Oh, sorry. One, one two, two, three, and four. One, wait, wait, wait! Yeah, that's it. Wait! <laughs> Not that's yet. Good. I'm just practicing. I'll tell you when. But it wasn't so easy after all. Okay, I'm very nervous. Okay, so okay, ready? <laughs> Don't laugh. That's important. Okay, ready? Okay. okay. Yes. That's great. That's right. And down. Yes. We practice several pieces. Excellent. Hold the sound and again do the same thing. Excellent. And cut them off now. And I hold up. Then the pro showed me how it's done. Wow. Wouldn't want to meet Power. you in a dark alley if you had like Beethoven's but fifth on your walk you hand. I feel like, whoa. Okay. Four. One. That's excellent. Three. And hold the sound. One. Keep moving no matter what so they keep going. That's great. And you crescendo, crescendo. Left hand. Yes. That's Every Second piece has so a story, Excellent. and you have to get that story across to your musicians and to the audience. Three, you guys them. sound really, really beautiful. I just want you natural. So, what do you think? See you later? <laughs> you new conductor? New York Philharmonic? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I can't tell you what a privilege it is to be living that dream. I mean, it feels like every day is Christmas to be able to do this. So Marin Alsop will continue to conduct, showing women along the way that the best way to succeed is just to be the best. <laughs> Pathetic. Marin Alsop is a fantastic lady. Up next, speaking of music, giving the gift of song this holiday season. That's right after this.